Oof, do we have a lot to talk about, folks. I want to start by talking violently about what just happened today with AMC. Retail took a lot of ground today, over 20%. I want to talk about what the data suggests is going to happen next and why this could get real crazy real quickly. And the only thing that I ask in return for all of this is that you hit that ravishing like button and also don't forget to subscribe either. Mm. Oof, that's hot today. Too hot. Gonna cool down a little bit. Okay, so AMC, I mean, talk about short sellers getting crushed. Up another 20% today. I don't know why, but it just, it puts a smile on my face. I just, I've been smiling a lot today. I mean, pretty soon somebody's gonna have to start a GoFundMe for these short sellers. Funny thing is we continue to see these articles from prominent financial media outlets talking about how retail traders are just ignoring the fundamentals here and how they're morons, but they just don't get it. This isn't about the fundamentals. Retail traders don't care that US movie ticket sales have been in decline for 19 years. They don't care about negative free cash flow. They don't even care if AMC is cheap or not or if the market cap is reasonable. Why don't they care? Well, because they're not playing the investing game. They're playing the hedge fund game. Hedge funds, you think they care about the fundamentals of companies? You really think they care? They take hundreds of billions of dollars in and out of stocks every single week. I think they're like, oh, after longing the stock for about three days, I'm gonna go and massively short it. But before I do that, I wanna check the balance sheet. How is their cash flow doing? I just, I don't know. I, I've been manipulating this back and forth, but I just wanna make sure they have sufficient cash flow. The idea that hedge funds use fundamental analysis is something out of a Disney movie. Sure, nothing's all black and white. I'm sure hedge funds have some fundamental analysis teams that are like, oh, this is how we justify some of our insider trading that goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. No, that wasn't something that Zip Trader would ever say. Don't worry, I, I, we love hedge funds here. But in all honesty, how many hedge funds have we seen this year that went and bought tons of growth stocks, for example, pushed them up to heights and then shorted them in mass just a couple weeks later? How many hedge funds leveraged positions one to 100 in crypto and Bitcoin? just to then completely pull it out and start short selling and then all of a sudden start riding the bounce back up. I just think it's really funny and ironic that when retail traders go and try to play the same game as hedge funds, they're called morons because they're not looking at the fundamentals. But when hedge funds do it, they're just sophisticated market participants. Cornelius and Bartholomew over at Wall Street are the smart money. Shh, it's really easy to be smart when you can manipulate the markets. Oh no, but it's the MIT or Harvard degree, right? It's just intellectualism that gets people money in the stock market. Hedge funds make money off trading on volatility and in a lot of cases, screwing other market participants in the process. I just think it's funny that when retail traders try to do the same thing, they're called morons. It's great, I, it's fantastic. Someone better come quick and shut off our trades before we get out of hand again. I don't know anybody in particular that would wanna do that. But okay, folks, look, I, I'm being too mean to hedge funds. Truth be told, we just need to have more empathy as traders. Hedge funds are just trying to make an honest living, same as anybody else. There's all these people on YouTube that I see that are like throwing out these bogus woohoo conspiracy theories that hedge funds are engaging in naked short selling. But folks, naked short selling, which is short selling shares that aren't available or aren't actually real, that's illegal. Do you think short sellers would interfere with a fair and free market? <sighs> Completely ridiculous, complete conspiracy. I refuse to acknowledge any of the undeniable data that suggests that that is the case. I want to be clear, this is not a conspiracy theory channel and I am not endorsing this theory at all. In fact, I strongly disagree with the overwhelming, undeniable, substantial evidence that hedge funds in mass are going in illegally naked short selling. Keep in mind folks, before you start thinking, wait a second, how can GameStop have 140% of the shares short when it's illegal to sell shares short that don't exist? You have to remember that you and I, we're the dumb money. We're supposed to leave it up to them to decide. What do we know about data? I mean, I don't know if it's pronounced data or data. Why should I be the judge of all this information? Oof. And honestly, as retail traders, let's be real, we're peasants. We need to get on our hands and knees and beg for hedge funds to take our money because it's just, it's an honor to be in the market with them. So I just want to be clear. We're not saying anything bad about the hedge funds. There's no conspiracy theories here at all. Because after all, even if there's substantial undeniable evidence, it's still a conspiracy, right? And I would never insinuate even for a second that AMC and GME just happen to be very, very obvious and blatant examples of fraudulent activity on the parts of short sellers. And I would never insinuate that most of this fraudulent activity goes on beneath the surface of many other stocks that people don't even realize 
it's happening because there's not so much focus on them and there's not so many retail traders fighting back. Because at the end of the day, folks, who are we as retail traders to insinuate that this game isn't fair? It's not like regulators don't at least give some fairness back to the retail trader. At least they give the opportunity to the average retail trader to invest in hedge funds, right? So at least they can participate in this bludgeons. I mean, it's very nice of them to do that. Oh wait, they don't do that. The Securities Act of 1933 prohibits individuals who don't have a minimum net worth of 1 million or after 2010, in some cases, 5 million in total assets. Oh, uh, wait, but Charlie, you're a moron. They're protecting retail traders. Oh, let's go ahead and give hedge funds all these advantages in the stock market, and let's make sure the retail trader doesn't have any of them, and then let's make it so the retail trader doesn't even have an option to invest in hedge funds. Totally makes sense for protecting them. Instead of allowing them to invest in hedge funds that have the power dynamic shifted in their favor a lot of the time, just let them do it on their own. That way they can just do it on their own. That protects them. And then wait, let's give them a little bit of a handicap while they're doing it on their own. Let's have FINRA give them a pesky PDT rule that restricts the amount of day trades they can take in a five day period. Oh my God trying to trade multiple times in a day. Oh, that's, that's not for the little guy. That is for hedge funds. It's fine for retail traders to go in guns blaring and get bludgeoned by hedge funds, but trading multiple times in a day, day trading. Oh my God, it's terrible. And then after creating this entire market structure where hedge funds are favored, both legislatively and obviously in terms of market power. Well, what is the solution that is proposed by pretty much everybody? Well, to give Wall Street more of your money, go invest it in mutual funds, go invest it in ETFs. And hey, in a lot of cases, it makes sense to invest in certain index funds and certain ETFs and certain asset classes. I'm not saying it doesn't, but all I'm saying is that Wall Street created a problem. That market structure is favored towards Wall Street and then presents themselves as a solution, which means that the more that they become the solution, the more power they have and the more power they have, the more they can create a problem for them to be the solution. I mean, it's really fantastic. It's a diabolical but genius scheme. And then when they need regulators to do something, regulators can just say, oh, you know, we're doing this to protect the little guy from what? Themselves? So in summary, hell yeah, I'm happy that AMC is crushing these short sellers. This is sending a message of awareness. Anyways, in terms of what you want to know, is AMC going to continue to rally? Well, we were talking last week and yesterday about how the more it can stay in the $14, $15, and $16 range, the more pressure will mount on shorts to close. And folks, I'm sure there's going to be another wave of selling pressure but retail is being very resilient and I would not be surprised if selling pressure is met with more buying. We don't have the exact data on what is going on fully behind the scenes, but odds are strong that the longer this goes on, the more likely it is that just all of a sudden we get this massive melt upwards. I don't see a world where AMC can stay at like 16, 17 and $18 and it just kind of stays flat for more than a couple weeks where this doesn't just completely explode. And if this can actually rally past those numbers, I think that's gonna be accelerated massively. It's also true that that naked short selling, that definitely never happens in the stock market. Well, that could create a very, very massive liability. Now at the same time, of course, being a somewhat responsible YouTuber, I do have to remind you that, hey, it's not a long-term conviction play. This is really just more of a movement. And I'm covering this because awareness is so important. And I think it's a great educational example um, as well as something to be aware of. The truth is that when it comes to us as retail traders, hey, there's a lot of time where we actually benefit off hedge funds and their leveraging and a lot of their messy practices because they accelerate uptrends and momentum with their leverage and their cycling in and out. And then they accelerate downtrends, pushing it farther than it ever would have gone because again, they're leveraging, deleveraging, and short selling. That allows us to get a better deal than ever. But the, the point is that there's a lot of opportunities here, not just to beat them at their own game, but also to play their game along with them. How many plays have we talked about over the years that have done really well and they were accelerated by hedge funds and then allowed us to get better deals because hedge funds decided to screw them on the way down? Down. The key here is not saying, oh my God, hedge funds have just taken all the gains in the market. No, the key here is saying, hey, wait a second. Hedge funds are operating in a market that I can operate on too. And I can ride the backs of hedge funds as well. And I can take a lot of these opportunities that hedge funds are taking advantage of. Maybe that's not always going to be in the situation like AMC, obviously, because AMC is a unique situation because people are trying to hedge fund out hedge funds. But you also have to understand that they're playing dirty and they're screwing a lot of people over because people don't realize what's happening. And that's why this campaign of awareness is so important. And it's something I'm really passionate about right now. All I'm saying is that it's our jobs to educate ourselves on what's going on. It's our jobs not to be victimized by hedge funds. It's our job to actually know, hey, this is what's happening. I'm not going to fall for this BS. I'm going to keep working and grinding. It's our job as traders to not be complicit in our own demise. Crypto trader is honestly victimized by hedge funds quite a lot, but we overly victimize ourselves by making stupid decisions and not informing ourselves on a lot of these issues that are going on. When we talk about hedge funds, we often talk about it as sort of like one-sided, like it's the hedge funds versus us. No, it's usually hedge funds versus other hedge funds versus an overall market cycle and everybody's just kind of going back and forth and little retail traders are kind of just the side casualties that nobody really thinks about.
bad. Obviously, a lot of hedge funds are going and shorting retail stocks in heavy mass because tons of retail traders are crowding together. But oftentimes, retail traders are just casualties. And as much as I'd like to see AMC rally, I do have to remind you that if you want to participate in AMC, you got to be understanding that this isn't a traditional trade or investment or anything like that. I'm not a supporter of buying anything without you having a clear understanding of the reason why behind it, and that reason can't come from me. Anyways, folks, that caps off the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us below or join us on Zip Trader Circle. Make sure to add me on Twitter at ZipCharlie. If you'd like to learn how to trade, I'll put a link to Zip Trader U below. Battlefield 75 will get you $75 off. You can go and look on the website to see a breakdown of what we offer in the course. We also have Weeble. If you'd like to get some free stocks, I'll put a link to them below as well. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.